Hi, in this case, we will discuss continuous random variables. So let's look at this sample experiment. Uh, in the first experiment, we take a random fish from a lake and measure its length. Okay, so we have a fish and we measure its length. Okay, so uh, how many possible lengths of a fish uh, can we have? Yeah, we, we, we might think that uh, a fish fr from a lake uh, cannot be longer than maybe 5 meters. But from, from 1 centimeter to 5 meters, there are uh, infinitely many uh, possibilities, right? As, as, as many as the number of reals. So, um, and we know that reals is uncountable. So, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, samples in the sample space. Okay, let's look at another example. So we consider a queue in a restaurant. Okay, so a restaurant and there are a queue of people, and then people go to the uh, go to the table and order uh, their dinner, and then we we look at the time that a customer has to wait before the order is completed. Okay, so again, this is the uh, this uh, random variables, which is the time that a customer has to wait is again is is continuous right there are so many possibilities okay so it's it's a real number okay also uh let's look at the third example so we have an area and we throw sensor node into the area at r random okay so the position in the area is again there are so many possibilities in there, but this is two dimension, right? But then uh, the number of possible uh, points in this uh, area is uncountably many, infinite, right? So um, again, this this is another interesting uh, random variables that we can talk about, okay? And all these three experiment, okay? share the same uh, one share the same concept right because the random variable that we are looking at is uh, uh, they, they are all real real numbers okay and we know that real numbers is uncountably uh, uh, many okay so let's try to uh, formulate this into uh, the let's try to talk about probabilities in in this this uh, new settings. So let's look at one simple um, uh, random variable um, that belongs to the same class as the example that we have already discussed. It. Um, so let's look at this random variable x, okay, which is a random real number uh, chosen uniformly from uh, 0 to 1. Okay, this is 0, this is 1, and we pick 1 in this area at random. Okay, so how are we gonna express x distribution? Okay, so so let's try to uh, look at one example. So we try to go from discrete to continuous and to see uh, what are the idea that we can use from the discrete case to to apply to these uh, continuous case. Okay, so let's let's try to discretize this. Okay. So if you want, if you want to pick a random number from zero to one. So let's say we just pick. Uh, there are two choices, either zero or 0 0.5. Okay. So let's ignore one for now. So because it will help us in the later cases. Okay, so in this case, if we want to pick that uniformly, then we're gonna pick zero with probability 0.5. Uh, and 0.5 again with probability 0.5 the same probability okay so that's that's the when we have uh, when we try to approximate uniform distribution with this uh, to a set of two members okay if you want to approximate this distribution further 
we can say uh let's this this is just two two choices let's try to make it 10 choices okay so now we we end up with uh something like this so from 0 to uh 1 and you have uh point 0 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.4 point 0.5 Point six, point seven, no point, and point nine. Okay, and each of these appear with the same probability. So there are ten things. So we're gonna pick zero with probability zero point one, one with probability zero point one. Okay, so that's that's how this approximation. B okay, and and you can note that uh, as we have made more choices, this thing becomes smaller, right? The probability that you're gonna pick one certain number, one specific number, decrease. Okay, but this is again the probability distribution because if you sum them all up, you sum then this p x up, you get one. Okay, this p x is you recall this is the probability mass function or PMF. Okay, if you look at this, you can think of this as a mass, uh, a mass at various point. Okay, so th this is the mass of uh, 0 0.1 unit, and if you sum them up, the total mass is one. Okay, so if you want to approximate further, we can say uh, let's divide this into ten. Uh, ten, ten points. Uh, no, a hundred points. So from zero, you have uh, zero point zero one, zero point zero two, zero point zero three, zero point zero four, and so on. Okay, and so on. And so each of these we get picked with probably zero point zero one. Okay. So this is how you you kind of approximate the uniform distribution with this a uh, hundred choices. Okay. Now again, uh, as we get uh, closer to and closer to the real uniform distribution, in the real uniform distribution, you not only have a uh, hundred choice like this, but you're gonna have the number of choices that you have is is going to infinity, right? And and again, as you do increase the number of choices, uh, this probability is gonna go down. Okay. Now the fact that this is the probability distribution can can be verified by looking at this mass function, and use if you sum them up, you get to one. Okay. Although each of these uh, the the height, okay, the mass for each place, each position. Is 0 0.1 but there are a lot of them okay you can think of this as this is a line and this is a point mass so the mass is is at various point okay and then if you sum them up you can have this is the accumulated mass who goes up like this by bit by bit for each of this is uh, the length of this is 0 0.01 and you have and so on until you reach to 1 at at 0 0.0.99 okay and then you get to 1 okay so this is the point mass and if you sum them up you get to to 1 this is the probability distribution okay um <clears throat> if you let me try to 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 uh, draw all the distribution in, in differently, okay? So um, so that we we can motivate the continuous distribution, okay? If you look at this, uh, the distance between each choice decreased, right? And the mass for each point also decreased, okay? So instead of just thinking about the mass, the point mass, we're gonna look at the 
mass as the density. Okay, so let's look at one. Let's go back to the first approximation. Okay, so now if we have the picture look like this, so you have zero, point five, and one. Okay, if you look at the mass, okay, so there's some point mass here of uh, zero point five unit, another po mass point mass here, another point five unit. So this is the mass. Okay, and this is zero, this is zero point five, and this is one. Okay, to to think about this, uh, we can think of it as as something like this. Um, we can look at this as okay. Say this is the density. Okay, the y axis is the density of one. If you have the density of, of a mass, what is the density? Okay, uh, so the density of one, but if you want to figure out the real mass out of the density, you have to multiply the density with the, with the width, right? So the total mass in this area, if this is density one, the total mass in this area is 1 times 0 0.5 which is 0 0.5 okay and in this area after 0 0.5 okay if you look at again the mass in this area since the density is 1 you multiply it by the length okay you get that the mass here is also 0 0.5 okay now let's try to uh, divide the, the segment into uh, something smaller. Okay, so suppose now we have 10, 10 pieces. Okay, zero is one. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten also. Okay, so this is one. Okay, so this is point, point 0.5, okay, and the length here is 0 0.1, okay. And again, if you have the y-axis to be the density of 1, uh, if you look at one strip, one area like this, because the density is 1, but the width here is already 0 0.1 so the mass in this area is 0 0.1 okay if you sum all the so now this is like the height and this is the area right if you look at so the probability that you belong into this part is 0 0.1 and this is you get 0 but if you look at this uh, strip Again, with density 1, the width is 0 0.1, so the mass here is 0 0.1. Okay. So now, you can see that instead of, uh, in the first case, when we, when we just draw a, a line from 0 0.5, you see that the, the line goes down to 0. But if you look at uh, this, this kind of, uh, with this interpretation where the y axis is the density okay the y axis remains 1 throughout right but then the probability of you below you going to get 0 0.5 is the area or the mass in this strip okay if you divide the strip further like in the last case Okay, so you have zero here, you have one here, and you have two consecutive strips, strip, like maybe 0 0.50 and 0 0.51. And, and previously, uh, the probability mass of this point is going to be 0 0.01, right? But now if you look at the density in interpretation of the 
approximation that we have, then the density is 1, but this strip is very small, right? So the mass here is 1 times the width of this strip, which is 0 0.01, and that's 0 0.01. That the, that's the point mass of this point, okay? So now, so this is this kind of motivate us in the uh, defin the new definition of the uh, continuous random variable. Okay, so instead of just thinking about the point, so say say uh, this point has mass zero point zero one, this point has mass zero point zero one, uh, we 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 will look at the density. Okay, so the density itself doesn't say much. Okay. The density at this point doesn't mean anything, okay? Maybe at this point the density is 1, but what is the mass exactly at this point? It's 0, okay? But if you look at the actual area, okay, between this, uh, this 0 0.049 and 0 0.05, 0 0.50, then you see that, okay, there's some actual mass here which is this this much all right so this this motivate us to uh to inst to when we want to describe the probability distribution of the continuous random variable we are not going to uh talk about the pmf the probability mass function because this is the point point base okay it talks about the mass at some point but if you have continuous random variables, we're gonna have uh, the possibility is is uncountably infinite. So instead of the PMF, we're gonna define PDF. Okay, probability density function as as follows. Okay, so we're gonna say that a continuous random variable X is is uh, uh, is continuous. Okay, uh, is the its distribution is described by this probability density function f okay such that if this is the density function of x if uh, probability that x belong to any subset of reals equals to the integral of uh, fx dx in that region okay so if you look at the picture if you look at the picture Say this is the uh, P PDF of the X. Say it is like this. It has to be a function, okay? So it look like this, okay? So it says that the probability that so this is X. So the probability that X say uh, maybe this is A and B. The probability that X would have the value between A and B. This probability is the integral over uh, of fx from a to b. Okay, so in this region, so this is the area in this this region. All right. So so b. This is a pretty general uh, definition. So b can be any set of reals. So you you gonna compute the integral of this function over this uh, this this set this set B okay so we, we will see more concrete examples soon okay so um, so the key idea when we want to talk about the uh, the discrete and, and and continuous is this concept of density and mass okay so if we look at the discrete version we can have we can say uh, okay there's a mass in this point Okay, and and they all okay. Sum up one, two, three, four, five, six, zero point six, one point six, one over six. Sorry, one over six. And they all sum up. If you add them all up, you get to one. Okay, but for density, it's different. You can have uh, the density of uh, one. If this all look like this from this to uh, the last number then you can you just take the area of this uh, 
<coughs> of this uh, under this density function. So instead of just the point mass, we will talk about the density. Okay, and so the probability that you end up in this range is going to be the mass inside this range. Okay, you compute the mass by uh, multiplying density with the, the width, okay, with the length. Okay, <coughs> and now you get the probabilities. So instead of just talking about the actual probability, we talked about density. Okay, you you can you see this uh, clearer as as we practice more and more. I hope. All right. So in this clip, uh, I I would like to just end it here, and I'll show you more example in the some later clips on of how this how this thing works out. Alright, see you see you later then.